Hey guys, are you here? And today, I'm gonna make a pretty awesome video with Frost and UA with Maldiva and Colossus. This is Frost UA MLD. And we are fighting a bunch of different turbos, a bunch of different melee cleaves that are training me. And I have seen you guys in the comments. I, you know who you are that have said, Sorry, you, how do you live versus people who train you? I feel like I can't do anything. I feel like I can't do anything. And guys, I really don't mind if people train me right now as a Frost Mage. This is what I do. Um, th this whole video is kind of going to go over what to do if you're being trained. Okay, how to deal with being trained. That That's the point of this video. So you pretty much want to not overlap defensive cooldowns such as Temp Shield or Trinket Temp Shield. Uh, Blink might be one pair of cooldowns. Um, Ice Block might be its own cooldown. Iron Bark, Scenarian Ward, Overgrowth might be its own cooldown, um, etc. And then you pretty much just want to live on their goes. If they're going you, that means your Warlock or whoever your third partner is is free to just free cast. Um, you'll see at the end of this game, uh, the Warlock's damage is going to be insane because look at him. The Warlock can free cast the entire match. Um, a gate is another cool answer so there. I just blinked and then gated. And look, I'm a million yards away and they can't really hit me. And the kind of the strategy here is just keep a blizzard down. They move 65% slower. Blizzard, think of it as like a Caltrops or something. Whenever you put a blizzard down, look at this. They can barely hit you. If they do get to you, Kona Cold. If they do get to you, Blink. If they do get to you, um, you can even, look, I use my Orb kind of as damage, but kind of as a slow. An Orb and then Instant Blizzard again. And then I can just throw another Instant Blizzard here in a sec if I don't fail. I should have thrown another Instant Blizzard, blizzard there. Um, Druid's getting pretty low from all the spread pressure from my Warlock. Um, this game seems just generally pretty under control. The Druid's half mana, He's he used a lot of cooldowns, tree form, etc. And the the Warrior and the Enhancer are just having a hard time really connecting to me. And when they do connect to me, it's usually only for a few seconds before I can look Nova them, get away again. Because they're moving so much slower than I am. I kind of want to kite as far away, away from the Druid as possible. Um, so here's a little scary moment. They actually go to my druid, so I decided to just we just died the sheep and spam fear over and over and over. So we have three sheep on the shaman. Oh, I got a sheep on the warrior. I removed dots for a second, but my druid's fine. That's the only way we're gonna really lose this matchup. So I decided, you know, screw it. Let's just sheep and get all the dots out of the way, but also make sure our druids, you know, a okay. But when they're on me, I feel you know fairly comfortable that every go we're either gonna have an iron bark a turn at temp a block a gate some type of uh out for their burst and when they're not bursting should do just a good job kiting i got pretty low there i did just blink away pop my temp shield um have full hots on me as long as i'm just making sure they're not really hitting me the full hots are just going to keep me kind of sustained i have orb coming up here in like five seconds i have icy veins up in about 20 um Gonna go ahead and orb there once again before my veins comes back up. Throw a blizzard down onto both of them. And look, they like guys, they can barely hit me. This is what I'm talking about. When when you're kiting as a frost mage, like they, they shouldn't really be able to hit you that much. I mean, of course, sometimes like this, this is a good go. They have a lot of damage, and I'm forcing my block. I had no trinket blink, I had no trinket temp. Um, it was pretty much time for my second block, and there it came out. Uh, Druid's still, you know, almost oom, very low HP. The warrior and the shaman are both rotting. So this is going, you know, okay. Um, for this next go, it's very scary. I have no trinket, I have no ice blocks, so it's really on my Druid to, uh, you know, maybe get some good clones, maybe you know, to just really stop the go from happening, um, maybe some fear peels, maybe some, you know, infernal stun peels, um, something like that. Because if, if not, then I could be in some trouble. But look, guys, at this point in the game, you know, it's four minutes in or something like that. They're all 10%, you know, they're all getting very, very low. Um, the true is out of mana. At this point, I can literally just run and let my warlock 1v3 them if, they're, if they do try to go me. I don't even have to look at them. I have a gateway available, so I'm staying right next to this gate. So if they do pop cooldowns, I can just gate them. Um, I got sheared, but I can now Ebon Bolt, and since that Ebon Bolt is a lot of damage now, the Shaman will probably go down here. So Shaman goes down, and Druid and Warrior are both very low. So that's that's kind of how, this is the first game against them, guys. By the way, this is my first time playing uh, UA Frost MLD in some time, and man, is it fun. We played last night, we didn't drop a single game. Um, it's just so good versus Cleaves. We haven't we didn't fight too many different comps, but it's just very, very, very good against against Cleave comps, um, such such as this that you can really just kite. Same thing kind of applies, guys, when you're playing with the Shadow Priest. Um, 
a lot of comps like that do pretty well against Cleves. So uh, let's hop into, actually, let me show you the scoreboard first. So here's a scoreboard. Look how much damage the Warlock can do if they decide to train me. And I still have damage them as a Frost Mage with both of them tunneling into me because they could barely hit me. So yeah, there's the damage breakdown. Let's hop into this next game. Okay, guys, so here we are. Uh, different map, same team here, I think. Um, we fought these guys a couple times last night and, you know, generally went pretty well. So they're trying to train me again. I have my Blizzard down right away. There's that Ursul's Vortex. And I think this game, I uh, might actually kite a little bit better and play a little bit better. That, that other game was the first game playing the comp, first game kind of warming up and, you know, probably wasted a block, maybe even two blocks just because um, I didn't, you know, kite perfectly or didn't, you know, use cooldowns perfectly. So... Um, so here we go, hopping into it again. Have that Rest of Druid on my focus, um, right here, which is maybe important important to know in case he's trying to get a Cyclone, I can blink CS it. You can see the heals going off, it's pretty good to do that. Um, when they do pop their, uh, Doom Winds and their Lust is when you want to try to spell steal Lust, maybe trying to blink away if you're stunned. If you're not stunned, you try to blink away before you do get stunned, um, or pop that Temp Shield, like right here. So I trinket Temp, Blink, Barrier. On for go, okay? Um, the temp shield might have even been overkill. Sometimes they can connect, so I, I, I like to do it anyway, because that's really the only time you're in trouble. But that trinket, temp, barrier, blink, boom, around the corner, fine. So now I'm fine. I survived their go, right? So I'm good for a while. Um, I have Icy Veins and Orb pretty much available here in a couple seconds. Throw that Blizzard down. Once I get to Icy Veins Orb right here, Icy Veins Orb, these guys are just going to be in a world of hurt. Look at the Shaman getting to, like, freaking 2% life right there, so I'll do the warrior, that's rally, that's parry, that's wall, that's overgrowth, that's tree form, that's everything, and look, they're still, they're still all, like, under half HP, which is just crazy, um, I, I don't really know much, you know, what else to say, I'm really just kind of, I, so once again there, I didn't have to block, it was just really, like, a safety thing, I didn't want to randomly get, like, triple crit and die, um, because we were not really in trouble at all at pretty much any point in this game, but I just threw out a block cuz, um, but when you start throwing out too many cooldowns just cuz, it's, it's a bad thing, so I, I, I technically shouldn't have blocked right there, it's not even safe to throw it out to be safe, if that makes sense, because then eventually you're out when you really do need it later, uh, on in dampening, um, get stunned here, so this is another one of their goes, this is another one of their goes, this is scary, um, so, I have block avail another block available if I do need it. I just came off hypothermia. I did have hods. I, I spell stole the lust. Um, kind of just, kind of just survived that go. I don't know if they didn't get too lucky with their crits, but I kind of just lived that go. Didn't use trinket temp. I didn't have bark skin there. Um, I just blinked away as soon as I possibly could, and and that was about that. So, <laughs> guys, have the blizzard down. Have your orb down. Kite. Use Kona cold. Use sixty five percent slow talent. Frigid winds. Um, instead of Ring of Frost, because it's going to help you kite so much better. And if two melee are training you, trust me, guys, as a Frost Mage, you are happy. This is a good thing. That means your partners can do whatever they want. Look at that. Druid goes down. My my uh, Druid and my and my Warlock just solo that guy. And these guys would probably have better luck if they were just going on my Warlock. Um, and look at this damage breakdown once again. Warlock just gets to destroy people. And I still did more damage than the Enhance and the Warrior. They're just not going to win if they try to train me. Okay, so here we have another turbo cleave. We were just fighting cleave after cleave after cleave yesterday, this time with a Mistweaver Monk. So we'll see how they do. We're still playing the same comp, Frost UA. I um, just, just had such a good time queuing with these guys last night. I love playing Frost UA and Demon Hunter Arcane. It's just such a such a blast. Um, but anyway, get a Blizzard down. Kind of start a little bit slow here. They try to hit me, and once again, it looks like they're training me. So how do you survive? Guys, you throw it on that Blizzard. You throw it on that in you throw that on the Orb, then you throw that on the Instant Blizzard. Um, if they pop the Lust, there you go. It's just the Tring Attempt. Stole Lust from both of them. I have Scenari, and I have Lust. Keep down another Blizzard. Put the Blizzard kind of on me, so by the time they get to me, they're both 65% slow. Throw a Kona Cold out. They're both 85% slow. Have a kick available for this Monk if he ever comes a little bit too close to me. I'm kind of hiding back to the gate when the Warrior charges me or I get kicked. Charged me, got kicked, gate. Um, maybe didn't need to gate there, but, you know, Warrior kicked me and I got charged. A little scary. Monk's getting, you know, already 80%, 75% mana or so. There's Sharpened Blade on me, but I do have skin, so it should be fine for that. Have an orb down, have tons of procs. Can throw out a bl instant blizzard here in a second if I do manage. Um, barely didn't, because I was just doing so much shit. And boom, CS the Mist and he goes down. So, guys, <laughs> once again, if an Enhance and a Warrior are training you, it might not be the most fun thing in the world, but trust me, as a team, you guys are happy. Uh, these guys were actually pretty low, I didn't, I didn't realize. They were about 20, 2200, but look, damage breakdown, 20 mil, 
20 is that 20 mil or 20 bill oh yeah whatever 20 mil 13 mil six and four see how much more damage we do when we're the ones kiting and back to this other team resto druid enhance warrior here once again on sewers this time so this is a much smaller map a lot scarier um for us like a we, we would like a nagrand or a tolveran um those would be kind of like our best maps i guess any like big spread out map um maybe tiger's peak would be okay so dalaran arena is probably our worst map against these guys and i know some of you in the comments were probably like okay let's get, let's see how you do on a smaller map this time they were splitting a little bit here in the open air making it pretty hard for us to really stack the melee which makes you know makes the game a little bit harder maybe i don't know if they're ever going to really land a kill is the problem if they're splitting us in the hands and a warrior but if they're both on me i get to slow them if they're both on my warlock i get to slow them both if they're if they're splitting then it's kind of hard to slow them both and we yeah, we almost look we're kind of playing together here because i told my warlock all right let's play kind of together so that we can we can at least get a double slow on them get a full shape here on the druid so i guess that's something i've, I've failed to mention th thus far in the video um, i haven't really been sheeping uh, pretty much at all and that's that's you know very much so on purpose I, i'm just not really going for sheeps um kind of just triple rotting when i can but look at this this is just a grinder man all three of them on top of each other with the orb with the blizzard and they just they just all flop so that is an ideal situation that you can get um done with a uh ua lock if you get an ursul's vortex with an orb with icy veins with a blizzard with a comet storm with an ice nova with dots and everything it's just too much pressure than a belt of silence and a war stomp and a and a bash just crazy 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 pressure coming out um, i do want to mention too quickly that i am using comet storm not glacial spike and i think common storm is just better for that instant cast pressure i could be wrong maybe in some matchups against other wizards it is better to actually play glacial spike but um i've been playing mainly common storm with this comp so guys try out this comp let me know how you guys like it i've been a huge fan um especially versus cleaves so you're having trouble versus cleaves maybe try ua frost mld um i think that's about it guys zaryu shirts are still available for uh, two, three weeks, two and a half weeks or something like that. So make sure to go pick them up before they are not available anymore in the links down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Talk to me in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!